What's up, everyone? Drew Snipes here with Beards and Gears, and welcome to Metal to the Pedal Saturdays. On this episode, we're going to be revisiting the Solar Chug Pedal. Uh, I remember this pedal being super awesome and really amazing. Uh, I've used it many times since then on my own. Uh, just a great all-around distortion pedal. Very versatile. Gives you a light overdrive to a thick and massive distortion. So, amazing job by Ola England and Solar Guitars. So, let's check this thing out and see what kind of amazing sounds we can get out of it. And with that, the signal chain today is going to be this Ibanez RG450 in Desert Yellow, loaded with Seymour Duncan pickups, a distortion in the bridge, and a classic in the neck. I don't even know what's in the neck. This is what it is. It says Seymour Duncan on it. We're going to run through the Randall RX120RH, going through the matching cabinet, mic'd up with an SM57. This is your clean channel. <laughs> All right, so we have the chug pedal all hooked up. I have it set up to be an industrial style metal sound, so very tight and rhythmic. Uh, you have the gain all the way up. You have the lo-fi gain at four, hi-fi gain at two, treble up to three, presence down to not, uh, nine. You have middle at 11. Uh, bass and, pres and depth are at nine o'clock. So just kind of tight and punchy. Let's hear this thing. Rock and roll with some industrial, and then we'll dial in some other sounds. Let's go. <laughs> Very tight and just, mm, just love it. Very uh, Static X style, Fear Factory, late 90s industrial. So let's mess around with this thing some more. Turn the mids up to two. Turn the highs down a little bit. Highs down to two. Turn the high fi gain up, low fi gain down. Let's just hear how this thing sounds. Mess around with some more, put a little more presence for those highs. There, put some more bass, more depth, cut the mids a little bit. High fi gain 12, low fi gain to about four, five. Let's check this out. <laughs> death metal. Gain down to 
about 10. Uh, low fi gain up. Doom metal, pretty cool, pretty cool. Let's cut these mids. Kind of be stupid here. Keep it a little all the way up. Turn the gain down to 12. High fi gain at 12. Low fi gain at 12. Let's hear how this sounds. More output. Yeah, I suck at that, but that's kind of a 80s metal sound. Pretty awesome. So, figure something else out. I don't know. Just turn the knobs, right? Final thoughts on the solar truck pedal. I mean, I've been into music for most of my life. I've been doing a lot of gear for most of my life, uh, hearing how things sound and hearing other people's reviews on YouTube on, you know, thoughts and opinions in Guitar Center and all, it, wherever. Just, I've always been into music gear. You always hear the word versatile. This amp is versatile. This thing is so, it does so much, it's so extremely versatile that after a while, the word versatile kind of comes cliche, becomes cliche. Uh, if everything is versatile, is anything really versatile? That's the thought. But the solar truck pedal is extremely versatile. I mean, I was getting anything from industrial out of this to a death metal sound, to a, a doom metal sound, 80s hair metal, light rock if you wanted to, uh, thrash metal, stoner metal, whatever. I mean, like every genre of metal is in this pedal. Absolutely awesome. Such a great thing to have around. Solar and Ola England just killed it with this thing. Um, and it kind of makes you wonder if, is Solar going to put out an amplifier soon? Because that would be absolutely amazing. I think I would absolutely love to try that out. So Ola, I called it here first, man. If you are coming out with an amplifier, hook me up with one. I'm going to do a review and demo and see what I can do with it. So thank you so much for watching. This is Drew Snipes, Beards and Gears. This is Metal to the Pedal Saturday. I'll see you guys in the next one.
This is Drew Snipes. This is the Solar Chug Pedal. See you next week. Drew Snipes, out.